Hi everyone and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. I'm Megan and today we'll continue to work with Google Ad Exchange in conjunction with DFP by creating an AdX order. Previously in this series, we taught you how to create an AdSense order with DFP. This time we're going to teach you how to create an order for Ad Exchange. It's better to do this right after completing all your AdSense orders. Both AdSense and Ad Exchange are Google products and seamlessly tie in with DFP. We'll also discuss the nuances of an Ad Exchange order setup when compared to setting up an AdSense order. After finishing with this tutorial, you'll be able to comfortably create orders for both Ad Exchange and AdSense. Start by logging into your DFP account. Click on the Delivery tab, then click New Order. This is your new order input page. We recommend including Google Ad Exchange within the name of this order. For Advertiser, enter Google Ad Exchange, copy the text, click Add New Company, choose Ad Network as type, and then paste Google Ad Exchange for the name. We recommend naming your line item the same name as the Ad Exchange ad tag name you'll be implementing in this first line item. Choose the ad size of the corresponding ad tag. Check the Allow Same Advertiser Exception box. Then, skip down to Type and choose Ad Exchange. You'll want to choose the corresponding web property alias. There's usually only one to choose from the drop-down menu that corresponds with the Ad Exchange account you've linked to your DFP. You can adjust the delivery settings, but we recommend keeping the default settings. In the Inventory settings, click Add Units. Choose the corresponding ad unit that you plan to run your Ad Exchange ad tag on. Then scroll down and click Save and Upload Creatives. Now open the text file where you've stored your Ad Exchange tag code. Next, copy and paste that code into the Code Snippet box. We suggest you name this line item with the same name you chose for your Ad Exchange tag. Scroll down and then Save and click Approve on the next screen that loads. Now you have your first ready Ad Exchange line item type. You can continue to create new Ad Exchange line items by repeating these same instructions. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.